Aquabo. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ohema. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Very, very pretty colors. So first made a wonder beauty baggage claim. I get nice and moisturized. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the baggage claim eye masks from Wonder Beauty under my eyes so it can moisturize and it's not really puffy so i'm just gonna moisturize it so i'm just gonna put this so that my under eyes could be beautifully moisturized and not dry after i do my makeup okay in the end you say yeah i bet it nice and moisturized Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with my NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna put that on my eyelids and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. So I'm gonna NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer on the eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna put it on the eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna put it on the eyeshadow primer because so I'm gonna put it on the eyeshadow primer. So I'm using the ColourPop Concealer DD50. Six um, to line my brows because if I don't do it now, it's going to not. It's gonna not be easy for me to do my brows after I finish my eye look. In the concealer, if you color pop a DD fifty six. So next, I'm using the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the shade Illustrate, and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow base. So base way if you if you make up Revolution, into me the Yemenichi. Now I'm the Carity E thirty one brush and I blend this. And but yeah, but my my colors now do be Yemenichi. But yeah, very vibrant. It it this will make the colors very vibrant. So I'm using the slush palette from Shop September Rose, and I'm taking that purple shade, and I'm going to pack that onto onto my base using um it's like a dense shader brush that comes in the Morphe 685 set. I will put the exact set in the description box. In the miniature I don't think I was me blend it I started, but I didn't blend it out. I was supposed to blend out that crease before I started, but I didn't blend it out. And as I was applying that shade, I just showed you it was not looking right so i had to stop go back in blend it out before i continued in the mom blending and my hormone not lines did that into me sign call back a blend day to me blend it and i made it um sashay and i blended dark purple and the deep purple together so after i did that i applied the neon pink shade in the inner corner and i blended everything out with a small brush and this is one of the uh, Ray Ray brushes. I will put the exact number down below in the description box. And I took a pointed blending brush from that same Morphe set and I just blended out the edges and I went back in with a smaller brush and I went back in with the big brush. And see, so I look with blending and quite one blend, yeah, any of it. Or blend it on so I cut it in your before it needs to. So I'll blend it gently but good you know you have to blend gently but good so i'm taking the evita joseph g235 brush and i'm going to take that black shade in the morphe palette and i'm going to use that to deepen the outside of my eye but it's how black and it's shit a bunting hono mongo as in but yeah it be my eye deep mini a bunting yeah outside as an outside you know and then i went over it with the purple color and blended everything out and I've made the same uh, canvas, you know, illustrate canvas, midi trap miniachi. So yeah, but yeah, color na yade beto so no a bit, like it will show up very well. So I'm using the cut crease canvas to cut my crease, and then I added some more so that it showed up really well. And then I blended out the edges, and then we're going to lay our cut crease color directly onto the base so that it can grab onto the color and show up really, really well. So after that, I go ahead and this is how I may blend it edges. No, I'm blending out the edges so that the transition will be very, very smooth. So I'm taking this neon orange shade. It's very neon orange. It doesn't show so much because my lights are so bright. But so I call it neon orange, but my lights are bright into you. And then my first color, no, add your to canvas now. My yes is here. I'm just applying it to the canvas, and then I took the pink shade and I used that to transition. The purple into the orange 
into me this our pink shade you know air transition purple no into the orange and i'm after you made a blank brush a blender here so i use a blank brush to brush off the powder and then i applied some of that deep purple shade over it so i wanted to go in with the gold glitter liner from obv in the inner corners but i didn't like how it looked so i went over it and i i packed color over and i just went ahead and lined the cut crease now because i made a gold in the show me corner on but i never into me papa and i'm assigned it made a part on it tarot so and i'm a day a year many h line so after that i use the deep purple shade and just intensify the contrast between where i cut my crease and the rest of the eye look so it's more contrasted you know so i'm using the pixie makeup melting wipes and i'm cleaning the eye look made pixie makeup melting wipes you know ffaso so i used the dark purple shade all over my eyelids and then i use the black shade close to my waterline and i use the pink shade to blend that out colors na idea you need you know and one i'm a dj mini asset and i'm a blend day so after that i use the la colors super shock is a super shock they sent us the their eyeliners and their lip liners but this one wasn't showing up on my face so i don't know if i was using the lip liner instead of the eyeliner but it just wasn't working so i went back in with the <laughs> so i went in with the thrive cosmetics um black gel liner and i lined my eyes and then i used the thrive cosmetics brow gel to go ahead and brush up my brow hairs and then i'm filling in my brows with the ColourPop jet set black brow pot it's the pot kind not the pencil kind even though i have the pencil kind and then i went back in with the ColourPop dd56 and i went ahead and you know cleaned up my brows this one is almost done we have another one coming from ColourPop soon so yay <laughs> Okay, so Koivoka has new bronzers and this one is the shade White Mammy. I will put the exact name down below in the description box just in case I'm wrong. But this is the last bronzer she has. So I'm just applying some of that to my face. And I will do a specific video on bronzers and hopefully we can figure something out and then i'm using the same bronzer to go ahead and contour my nose if you guys notice i don't like starkly contour my nose you know i don't like that so then i went ahead and highlighted my face with the highlighter that comes in the juvia's place volume one blush palette and then i set my face Okay, so I'm using the Trouble Makeup Mascara from Urban Decay and that one was like the first of its kind I had seen so I was just like looking at it, it looked so weird but I used it and then I went back in with Too Faced Better Than Sex and Diamonds and I applied that to my eyes and then I went back in to soften and also intensify my highlighter a little bit So I'm going to use the Rogue and Rogue lashes. I will put the exact name of the ones I use down below in the description box. My hands need lotion. So I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Dark Brown Pencil. It's an eye pencil, not a lip pencil, by the way. And I'm going to use their new Candy Slick Lippies. And this is the shade S'mores, please. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. It's so pretty. And it's, it has like a faint smell of sugar and candy. And I really, really like it. So I use the Ion Silk Drops on my hands sent to me from Sally's and I just applied whatever was left on my hands onto my hair, combed out my hair, applied some of the highlighter to my inner corner and that was all I wrote.
So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Also, just remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!